Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. This video is to show you how to put together our Arduino Relay Kit. I say it's Arduino because it's meant for a uh, uh, microcontroller interface. However, uh, you, can, yeah, you can use a PIC, you can use a basic STAM, you can use an Arduino, you can use a TTL gate. 5 volt signal is required to activate the relay. Your power source is 5 volts on the left terminal here, ground on the right terminal here, and so your signal on the middle line. Now this is an active high relay so whenever you add a 5 volt, sig a five volt uh, pulse to the signal line, as long as there's 5 volts on the signal line the relay will be turned on and that LED indicator will turn on as well. When the relay is turned on the normally connected pin in the middle terminal here uh, will connect from the normally connected pin on the right to the normally open pin on the left. So when the relay is not activated, the common pin is connected to the normally connected pin. And when the relay is turned on, the common pin is connected to the normally open pin on the left. It's labeled on the board, but you might have trouble seeing it from here. So, um, very easy to put together, very easy to interface. So when the relay is turned on, this is you can control about 2 amps at 120 volts AC. I wouldn't go controlling your microwave with it, but certainly some lamps and small fans and uh, maybe your uh, computer monitor. You can really have some fun with this. Very easy to use. So, um, again, if you're, if, you're, uh, if you're looking to control AC, do you have an AC power cord? cut the black wire in half, place one end in the common pin, place the uh, other severed black wire in the normally open pin, so when the relay is turned on it reconnects the hot wire and, and uh, completes the circuit to your uh, 120 volt appliance. So first of all let's have a look and see what the kit comes with. There are three resistors. One 470 ohm resistor that use, is used to limit current to the LED. Uh, one 10K protective resistor that's put on the base of the transistor and a 100k ohm resistor that's a uh, pull down on the base of the uh, transistor. It's a bleeder. Anyway, you've also got a 1N4001 diode, a red LED, a 2N2222 NPN transistor, two 3-pin terminal blocks, 5-volt relay, and a uh, 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. First of all, let's place our resistors. Now resistors don't have a polarity so we just have to place them in, in either way. Uh, R3 is 470 ohms, it's labeled on the board. R1 is 10K and R2 is 100K. So let's solder those into place and then we'll solder our diode, our transistor and our uh, LED. With the resistors placed we now have four components that have to be placed a certain way. Your standard power diode, your LED, your electrolytic capacitor, and your NPN transistor. Your diode has a white line on the one side, and that is uh, an indicator of your negative, or cathode. The positive side has no white line, and that is called your anode. On the footprint under D1, you'll notice that one side of the diode has a, uh, has a white line on the one side. Make sure to match the white side of the diode to the white side of the diode footprint or else you're going to get a short circuit when you uh, turn on when the relay is activated. Very, very, very important. The LED has two legs. The longer leg is the anode or positive. The shorter leg is the cathode or negative. And it's placed right here. Now, you might have had trouble seeing this, but on the footprint there's a rounded side and a flat side. In this case, the flat side is closest to my screwdriver and the rounded side is uh, closer to the, uh, the, uh, this terminal block. Make sure to place the shorter pin on the relay side and the longer pin on this terminal block side because that's your positive. Your, shorter, your, your negative goes to the flatter side of the footprint. That's very important too. If you put it together, you hear the relay working but your LED doesn't turn on, it likely means that you've got it backwards. Your electrolytic capacitor has a long leg and a short leg as well. The longer leg is a positive, the shorter leg is a negative. And that's placed right here on C1. Now you'll notice that there is a positive sign on one side of the footprint. Place the longer lead in the, uh, your positive lead into the uh, hole with the, positive, the plus sign indicator and the shorter lead on the outside of the board. Your NPN transistor uh, is uh, can only be should only be placed in one way. Placed in the wrong way, your circuit will not work. Uh, from a bird's eye view, the NPN transistor has a front uh, flat side and a curved side. 
So does the footprint. There's a flat side and a curved side. Make sure to match it from a bird's eye view. If you get it backwards, you're not, it's not going to work. The flat side has the writing on it. The flat side of the NPN transistor has the writing on it. So let's solder it into place. We'll do our terminal blocks. We'll do our relay, and then we'll do a demonstration. We're almost done. The relay only fits in one way. There's three legs on one side and two on the other, so it's very easy to solder. However, when you do solder in, make sure that the solder, the solder pads are fully filled because these are going to be handling a lot of power. At least three of them are. Your uh, two terminal blocks, they, only f they sh uh, should fit with the screw terminals facing outwards or else you're going to have to desolder them and put them in the right way because if you place them in, say, this way, how are you going to wire, how are you gonna wire uh, your, your AC terminals? you want to make sure that it's facing outwards in both cases so let's solder those into place we'll do a demonstration and we'll test it I'm done soldering now what I'm going to do is I've got it powered to 5 volts red wire here ground here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate a TTL input by putting 5 volts on the signal line relay turned on relay turned off relay turned on relay turned off so now let's hook it up to uh, let's hook it up to a lamp or something. So right now I have got uh, my black wire severed, placed in one end, placed in the common one, placed in the normally open pin. So when the relay uh, activates, it'll reconnect that black wire. Just bring it up here. On the right, uh, that is the power that's going to be connecting connect to the lamp. So when the relay uh, is activated, power will go to that power bar to a lamp to my right, which you'll see in a second. On the left side of the power cord, uh, that's going to AC. So, uh, if you look from the left, AC is traveling through that cord, which is then severed. The black line is severed, placed into the relay outlets. And so when the relay connects, reconnects that black wire, power will enter that, uh, that uh, power bar and uh, this lamp should turn on. So let's try it out. I'm going to place 5 volts on the signal line. Relay on, relay on, off. Lamp on, lamp off. Lamp on, lamp off. And that's it. You don't have to use the lamp, you can use other things. I'm going to turn the uh, relay board off now. But that's it. So if you're interested, go to engineeringshock.com or electroniclessons.com. You can find this kit. And uh, it's inexpensive, fun to make, easy to make. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching, everyone.